Hey, what's up you guys? Marty here with GuitarJams.com And it goes like this, the open E And then index finger on the third fret And this is just another way to play the E blues scale Open, three, five, six, seven Now you can also skip that blues note that's the 6th fret and go But that blues note's where you get Okay, so we have 0, 3, 5, 6, 7 Now we have an awesome blues box right here 5, 7 on the A and 5-7 on the D. Now I recommend learning it in little doses, like in other words go Oh, right on. Okay, I got that. And then keep, keep adding little pieces. So this little, even just what we covered right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little notes there, are some of the most classic rock riffs and blues riffs of all time are written right in that little zone, especially if you add like, you know, an E7 chord right here, or an E7 sharp nine Hendrix. So we have zero, three, five, six, seven, five, seven, five, seven. Now we have that same little blues note. So seven, eight, nine, or just seven slid to nine. And this whole run is only gonna use our index and ring finger for the whole thing. Oh, three, five, six, seven, five, seven, five, seven, eight, nine, 7, 9 on the G string, 7, 9. And when you have these runs that are really long, it's, uh, it's easier to extend your licks out, not, you know, when guys are just in the one pentatonic, a lot of times you kind of hiccup by running out of room. This enables you to climb up the entire neck. So you have open E, O, three, five, six, seven, five, seven, five, seven, eight, nine, seven, nine on the G. And this is the only weird, weird part, but it's not really that weird. Um, we're gonna go index finger. Listen carefully to the fingers. Index finger on the eighth fret of the B to the tenth fret on the B. And then we're going to slide with that, so we could either go 10, 11, 12, which is that blues note again, or just 10 to 12. And then last but not least, we have a 10, 12 on the high E. And where did we end? We ended on the E root of the scale. So once you get all the way to here, you can get your, you can change, interchange your ring finger for your index finger. And now, my friends, you're in the power zone or the tasty zone of the regular pentatonic that everyone learns first. So check it out. on the B, and then ring finger to the 9 on the G. 9, 7, 9, 8, 7 on the D. 5, 7, 5, 7, 6, 5, 3, 0. Oh. Triple 
triple a 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 and then what's so cool about that it's like the freeway so you get little licks along the way but you use that up and down to uh you know to to extend the licks out for instance i love this and this is taught on the new blues dvds index finger on the seventh fret of the high e and middle finger on the eighth fret of the b I just added my ring finger to the ninth fret of the high E, but that's like straight, like pride and joy. So let's say there's that lick right there. You can use that extension either from up here to down to it or from here up to it to your licks. And that's just one lick of, you know, a billion. from here I think you're going to really get a lot of use out of it.